the Lisa. Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Bill Lisa. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to season two. We are blasting off to infinity and beyond and we don't want you to miss a minute of the fun. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Have you ever wanted to know how to do Disneyland like a pro? Well, stay tuned because today we have tips, tricks and hacks that are going to make your next trip to Disneyland the best day ever. Let's go. The first thing you're gonna do, you're actually gonna do before you even enter the park, and that is to download the Disneyland app onto your phone and scan your ticket in. It's really, really user-friendly and easy to use, but this will allow you to use the app all day while you're in Disneyland. Let's head inside. Thank you. make sure you do is as you come through the gates grab a guide map even though there's a map on the app this is really helpful and it has a lot of information in it but it's also a small souvenir that you can take home with you at the end of the day the next tip is to go ahead and get a locker the lockers in Disneyland as you head down Main Street you're gonna turn right at the market house this little street is called Center Street and it's gonna take you right into the lockers come on in to the machine and you can either choose a standard size for seven dollars or a large size for ten dollars depending on how many things you brought but this will lighten your load as you walk through Disneyland it will also make it easier to go ahead and pick up those souvenirs that you find as you wander through the park and then you have a place to store them you don't have to carry them all day so getting a locker especially if you're going to be here all day is a really really great idea right at the beginning of the day tip that you should know about is when you come to Disneyland there are professional Disneyland photographers all over the park particularly at the castle but there are different areas that if you see a professional photographer that works for Disneyland you should head in and take that opportunity to get your picture taken these pictures are frame worthy and you can take them home put them on your shelf and remember your magical day the next tip or hack on the list are fast passes. Nobody likes to wait in line and a lot of the more popular rides at Disneyland have what's called a fast pass. You have the ability to take your ticket or your annual pass and go into the kiosk. They are right next door to the rides. Other than in Tomorrowland, all of the kiosks are backed by Space Mountain. But you have the ability to go in, insert your ticket, and you get a return time. It's a one hour window that you can come back to the ride where you can walk right in and skip the line. Let's head in here and get a fast pass. between 5.55 and 6.55, and I can come back and get in the fast pass line at any time during that window. But I'm going to use my ticket. This is only a slip of paper with information for you. Your ticket is what is actually going to get you on the ride. Yes, fast passes are really amazing, but there's something even more amazing, and that is the max pass. The max pass is something that you can purchase at the beginning of your day here at Disneyland. It is 15 per person in addition to your ticket but that then allows you to use the app on your phone to get a fast pass you don't even have to walk to the ride you can be anywhere in either park to choose your next fast pass it saves so much time and so much walking that as long as you are willing to pay the $15 it is definitely worth it another option is 
a single rider pass. Certain rides offer single riders the ability to go in and they will fill in the ride with any empty spaces with a single rider. You get to pass the line and go right to the front. All you have to do is ask a cast member at the entrance whether they are allowing single rider today. They're gonna give you this pass and you're gonna walk right in. That is also where the guide map comes in handy because the guide map is going to list all of the rides and if they do allow single rider it is an option that's marked on the ride so right now we are in Adventureland and we are at Indiana Jones and you can see there's an FP for fast pass and an S for single rider that lets you know that this ride sometimes has that option that you can walk right in by yourself as long as you don't mind being split up with your party this is a great option the next tip or trick that you should know about is mobile ordering. This is another reason that the Disneyland app is so amazing. The majority of the restaurants here inside Disneyland offer mobile ordering. Not all of them, but most of them. And you can find those on the app. They will have a symbol that says mobile ordering. When you click on it, it brings up the menu, allows you to place your order, and as soon as you're finished, it tells you exactly when your order is ready for pickup. You can choose a time if you want to order your food in advance, or you can order it when you're ready to pick it up. It will then have a symbol when you come to the restaurant where you're gonna go to pick it up. As you can see, there is a really long line of people waiting to just stand in line and order their food when the mobile order window is completely empty and there isn't anybody waiting. It's so quick and so efficient. All right, everybody, we're gonna end our video here. One of the number one questions we get all the time is when is the best time to arrive at Disneyland? And the best time to arrive is you should be in the parking structure parking one hour before the park opens. That will then allow you time to get parked, get through security, ride the tram in, get through the line into Disneyland, and hopefully you'll be entering Disneyland just a few minutes before they actually open all of the rides. The first couple of hours that Disneyland is open, it is essentially empty. Yes, there are people here, but the ride lines are so short. Usually they are five minutes or less for all of the rides inside Disneyland. So those are our tips, tricks, and hacks for doing Disneyland like a pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Going for a spin on King Arthur's Parasite.